grinder with a four inch. Uh, well, here's my uh, grinder. I happen to have a Makita. Uh, put the four inch uh, diamond blade on there. <coughs> this is a kind of a cut you can do with that. And you can even clean this stuff up after. You see, there's a little edge on there. All right, all I do is I, uh, I mark my size with a, a Sharpie and uh, score it with the uh, saw and uh, cut it through. That's all there is to it. Now I got this, this little bit of bead on here. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, it's going to be hidden anyway, but uh, what I'm going to do is just, uh, if you want to clean it up, And there it is. Nice clean cut. Very smooth. Very straight. It's hard to tell. This is just the, the mortar right now. And uh, once we get that cleaned up and uh, put the grout in, it'll probably look a little better. I had a couple of them. The floor was raised in a couple of spots. Uh, made a little awkward. So I don't know if they're going to be perfectly level. Um, but uh, it is what it is. Well, I laid the tile yesterday with the grout. Uh, or not the ground, the, uh, the thin set mortar and I didn't do a spectacular job here but uh, I had mortar all over everything I don't know it's like I lost my mind but what I'm doing is I'm cleaning out the, the remaining material between the, the cracks uh, with this oscillating tool now they, they suggest this this uh, grout removing tool which that came from my old Sears one it didn't work on here but tell you the truth this this blade is working better of course it's going to take all the teeth off but it's really the high speed motion that's, that's getting the job done I don't have to worry about damaging the tile with this uh, put it on high speed and let her rip and just cut down in and vacuum it up as you go Okay, so what the oscillating tool didn't get, uh, I uh, went around with a sponge, a damp sponge, wiped up and used a little scraper thing to get up the heavy spots. Looks like everything cleaned up really nice. And uh, then we're out at the shop back one more time and cleaned out any remaining material that was between these spaces. So it looks like it's pretty much ready to go to put down the working on the uh, the grout. I made a little too much, so uh, it's hard to tell. They don't they don't give you a lot of clues on the bag as to how much is what. Anyway, so I'm in my waiting period here. I just finished uh, filling all the uh, cracks with the grout, and uh, once it's uh, about 10 minutes or so, I can go ahead and wipe it down with a sponge and then you wait for a couple of hours and then you uh, install uh, waited about a half an hour or so and then I wiped it down with a wet sponge and waited a couple of hours and wiped it down with this towel over here and it came out pretty good I did vacuum it and um, now it's just uh, to put the sealer on. I, I'll be using this safeguard stuff. I still have some from the, my other room. Uh, it's a grout sealer. Uh, you got to wait three days to do that. So, okay, it's been uh, at least 16 hours. Uh, preparing to out the toilet. 
uh, got a little cleaning up to do yet on there. Some of the tar from the old floor got up on there. We have got this uh, wax seal here. And uh, this is something that I tried upstairs, it seemed to work pretty good. It fits over the wax seal and uh, it's a rubber boot so that you can easily remove the toilet later if you need to. Okay, that's where we're at. Oh, got the vanity. Uh, well, we'll take a look at that in a little while. Uh, on sale at the Home Dumpo. Uh, let's see here. It's got the mirror and the vanity and the in the bowl. Uh, the good news is I used a Lowe's uh, ten dollar card and got ten percent off. So uh, that worked at uh, Home Depot. All right. Well, that was an easy install. New vanity, small, so uh, my mother will have a easy time getting in the door. It's a Mullen uh, faucet that went in real easy. Had its own. Uh, water cables on there and things lined up pretty well underneath actually this should work out better I always had a little gurgle and now I got a longer drop for the p-trap so that should eliminate the gurgle it's the old toilet with a new new seat on it these are nice this is uh, Bemis so the toilet doesn't slam they work very nice I got one upstairs we haven't sealed this yet uh, Grout came out nice, really blends in well with the tile. We'll let it dry out for a couple more days uh, before we seal it. Today we're preparing to put the tiles up here on the wall. And what I've done is I've uh, measured down from the top to where I want to where I want to start. I screwed up a border around here with some scrap wood. Make sure it's nice and level. This way what you do is you can start out your first row there sitting right on top of that wood and you're assured that it's going to be level. And, uh, and then you work your way up the wall from there. Then you can come back later and you unscrew those uh, supports. You cut in your, your final pieces along the, the bottom row. It's a technique I learned in building trades in high school. Uh, what I've done is I've also gone along and I put a bead of uh, silicone rubber in the corners just to assure some waterproofing if there were to be a, a breach in the uh, grout. Now I'm going to tape, uh, tape the joints. You want to make sure you use the special tape that comes for the hardy backer. It should be good. I had the, this border down lower. I was trying to make sure I would meet up exactly with the ceiling, but the ceiling's not exactly level, so I moved it up a couple of inches so that uh, I will have to trim the top row and the bottom row. Well, I've started the uh, installation of the tile on the wall. Uh, about three layers. What I'm doing is uh, buttering each individual um, tile. This one uh, I was kind of hoping I'd chip the corner a little bit on it and I thought I could hide it in the corner. No, not so much. Had to pry it off the wall and replace it. Uh, it's one that I had uh, cut an edge off of and I got a little carried away and I thought well it'll get hidden. Yeah, well, this is going on here forever so I thought well I'll replace that. That worked out okay. So uh, now I'm, I'm mixing small batches at a time. Um, I'm using a, a cup like this and uh, I tried uh, one cup of water to three cups of uh, uh, mortar. That was a little thick. Uh, so I've gone to two cups of water to five cups of uh, mortar and that's a real nice consistency keep my mixer clean. I'm just using a paint mixer and that works real fine. I use that on my concrete too. Just using my quarter trowel, clean that off. And I didn't do this on the floor but on the walls I'm just going around the edge, wipe with the sponge around the edges here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, what that does is it saves me from uh, 
have to clean in between the tiles as much when I get done. Now this, this way I'm just doing small batches in the bucket so I don't have to worry about it drying out. I'm using uh, two cups, two waters to, to three mortar and doing my mix in there and uh, there's a nice one I can do about 10-12 uh, tiles that way and uh, if I have to do some cutting it allows time then I clean up in between and make another batch and uh, just taking my time at it that way. All right, just about finished with my back wall here. Um, this is my last uh, top corner piece. I got to cut a half inch off of there. All I got to do, I, I marked, I put it up on there, uh, marked it with my sharpie. Just lay the square up there, draw the line, and go out and cut it. All right, we're in the process of, of uh, routing the wall tile. Uh, I did my back wall first. Been quite a while since I've done any of this kind of grouting on the wall. Um, I did my first wipe down, it'll take several times, but you need to let it dry uh, somewhat in between. So, that yeah, film will wipe off those tiles fairly easy. Uh, so, I'm getting ready to do the rest of these. But before I started, down around the bottom here, I added some uh, quick dry silicone. Uh, all the cuts went pretty well. I don't know if I showed you this before, the custom cutting. Uh, that was done uh, with a hole saw and then uh, with my uh, grinder and it came out pretty good. So I just made up a new batch. Uh, the back wall I made it a little too dry. Uh, this is a little bit wetter. I should be able to float this fairly easy. Alright, so I've got uh, all the grout in and I did decide to go ahead and go up along the ceiling. Yeah, of course some of the ceiling paint washes off a little bit, but not too bad. And I got a little corner there I'm going to have to patch, but otherwise that came out pretty good. Also I went down along the wall here, and of course there was grout all over the wall, but uh, it gave it a nice finished look. Uh, I left it back from the corner be just a hair. Now you can see how much crap I've got on the wall. I'm certainly no expert at this. But then all washes right off. Uh, I had to make a, another small batch to finish up. I almost got everything done on these two walls with uh, that, that batch. And uh, probably the third batch was wet enough. Uh, I'd, I'd been going too dry. Probably a good idea to actually follow the instructions that come on the side of the bag. Time to change my water again. It takes a lot of water. And you can see I'm making quite a mess. Got that uh, very expensive shower basin covered with a piece of plastic. but. Uh, as long as I don't grind it in, it'll be okay. It'll clean up pretty okay, good. Okay, so uh, clean the tile probably uh, three, four times. Looking really nice. Uh, everything's come together. Even my bad joints have kind of leveled out. Mm -hmm. them in there. Those the blemishes now. All I got to do is uh, wait for a few days uh, for this uh, for the grout to dry in between there. Um, and then we can seal it up. Uh, before that happens, what I'll probably do is buff this down with a cloth. Uh, maybe tomorrow, um, after the uh, after it's had some time to dry in there. I may go along and put another bead of uh, silicone down along this edge here, just to bring it out even. It's sealed up good. Uh, I got to clean out a little grout there in the corners.